Females choose who gets to reproduce, not just in society, but also on a cellular level. I say that because you were probably taught and still believe that it's the first sperm that wins the race of life that actually gets to go on and reproduce, but newer research is showing that that isn't quite the case. See, eggs can release chemical breadcrumbs, which help to attract the right sperm to it, as we know that these act with varying intensities depending on what the genetic makeup of this specific sperm cell is, even if that sperm cell isn't from the person's regular partner. This is important because every egg has a different genetic makeup, even if it's coming from the same mother, meaning that to give itself the maximum chances of survival, it has to select the equivalent sperm that has the most compatibility. But the work isn't done after selecting, as once the sperm even begins to enter, a protein called ZP2 needs to make sure that no other sperm is able to enter, otherwise, it's game over. Did you know this?